and welcome to the celebration of St. James Episcopal School at this special Sunday service, amongst many other celebrations as well. I'm Stacy Irvin, and I'm honored to stand before you in now my seventh year here at St. James serving as your head of school, serving children ages two and a half through grade five. Graduating our first fifth grade class last May was a monumental moment for our community. As the students passed the beautiful mahogany follow me cross carved by Barry Hamilton in the ceremony, we all had this wonderful sense of pride. What started as a dream in 2010 had its, made its way to a reality. With now 208 students and over 40 staff members, and in no small part, it was because of the support of this church. Really quickly, so you have a chance to look around, I wanted to ask, because I, I see quite a few alumni of St. James here. If you're an alumni student, so you came to St. James at some point, could you please stand? There's quite a few over here that you might not be able to see. If you're a current student, stay standing. If you're a current student, can you stand up? We're so proud of each of you. And how about our wonderful staff? If you're a staff member here at St. James, can you please stand? Thank you for all that you do to make this school so special. Thank you. We've been so lucky over the years to have such a dedicated faculty and staff, supportive families, and pretty terrific students, too. <coughs> Working with Father Ben continues to be a wonderful experience as well. We both remain extremely intentional in the weavings of church and school, and I know it's for this reason, reason that we continue to thrive. <coughs> Young people today desperately need great schools, and they need places where they can put one spiritual foot in front of the other. Episcopal schools can do just that. They remain one of the church's most vibrant and relevant ministries today, one that embraces all children, regardless of their religious tradition, as each young person slowly comes to see who they are, who they shall become, and how they shall be in the world. Our gospel today reminds us that God's grace is not limited to certain people. St. James Church and School changes lives by creating communities that embrace our inclusive nature. In a world too eager to draw lines that categorize and divide people, our community strives for a much better way. We strive for a way to accept and embrace people as they are and where they are, while encouraging them to go deeper in their relationship with God. Episcopal schools are places that teach students to use both the mind's eye and the eye of the heart a wholeness of spirit, a connection to others, a life graced by joy and purpose. In Episcopal schools, ideas matter and spirit matters. We strive for equity and justice, not because it's trendy, but because it's our gospel call. Students give service, not to build a resume, but because it's the right thing to do. When I first became a teacher in middle school, I thought academics were all that really mattered. But the more I worked with young people, the more I came to see that great intellect did not always come with a warm heart or a clear moral compass. I saw other students paralyzed by sadness in their lives or worry or anxiety or anger that made learning a shadowy process. Slowly I came to see not merely their minds, but the totality of who they are and who they were becoming. And the longer I taught, the more it seemed to me that we need to begin at the beginning. Because by the time they were 13 or 14, many young people were in some ways already blind in their ability to see where they fit in, to know their true heart, to view their neighbors as themselves, to catch a glimpse of their voice within, to truly know their soul. By serving students at this age here at St. James, we can make a difference in who they will become. There's no calling that is more important than the work that fills our days and our years in Episcopal schools to shape and guide children's spiritual and academic development. St. James Episcopal School is a concrete expression of the church's care for young people and their families day in and day out. This school makes a difference in the lives of so many. 
please don't underestimate the work that is done here every day. What I think you will find today in the words of one of our teachers and one of our students is that St. James Episcopal School is a place where being known is of ultimate importance and where a welcoming heart brings forth the words of our baptismal covenant to seek and serve Christ in all persons. My name is Rachel Cyrene, and I am the Director of Curriculum Instruction at St. James Episcopal School. I first became involved in St. James a little over four years ago when we enrolled my oldest in the two-year-old preschool class. She is now thriving in first grade, my four-year-old is in the pre-K class, and my youngest will join the three-year-old preschool class in the fall. As a parishioner and school parent, I had the unique opportunity to take on a role as a staff member this fall when Stacy asked me to join her team. With 15 years of public school teaching experience, I was eager to learn all that an Episcopal independent school had to offer, <clears throat> both to the students and the faculty. What I learned was that because there are no mandatory tests, guidelines, or regulations pushing our children and teachers onward, whether they're ready or not, these teachers actually have the freedom and creativity to cultivate lessons, units, and materials that actually meet their students' needs. What a concept. What makes this so special in a small class size school like St. James is that teachers have the opportunity to collaborate vertically. Kindergarten can talk with first, first can talk with second, about successes, concerns, and ideas across their classrooms. The flow of communication is thoughtful Teachers challenge each other with professional ideas, but most importantly, they get to learn the hearts and minds of our children through these meetings. Each time I meet with these classroom teachers, their ability to describe each child's strengths, weaknesses, and character reflects their dedication to their students' needs. Additionally, these teachers have the ability to select the professional growth topics of their choice and their students' choice because there are no mandatory passing rates of certain subjects that will dictate the professional in-service that they have to receive. I have witnessed ideas and lessons flourish because of the professional support the St. James teachers receive outside as well as from each other. Not only is professional growth encouraged by seeking seminars, workshops, and the like, but we also have teachers on staff who teach in a larger collegiate community of other teachers and bring that experience to the St. James staff as well. The opportunities this teaching staff capitalize on impact our students directly because they see the way their teachers interact. There is frequent communication, <clears throat> um, sorry, working together and sharing of ideas modeled by teachers that students witness directly and internalize as just some of the virtues that St. James teaches about how to be caring, responsible people in the community at large. This goes for the preschool staff at St. James as well, who constantly seek professional development and literature on ideas appropriate for them, such as how to support the importance of play as the primary and best way for small children to learn. They also receive the support of our elementary staff and provide valuable knowledge and experience back to the elementary staff as they send their small students forward. My husband's and my own personal experience with my son's pre-K teacher helped clarify some of our own concerns about his kindergarten readiness. Her professional knowledge, personal experience, and clear understanding of our son was tremendously beneficial, not to mention heartwarming, in helping us reach our conclusion. Of course, all of this happens with the exemplary leadership of Stacy Irvin, and <clears throat> she has tremendous vision for this school, and yet she never loses her commitment to the individual child and calls each of them by name when she interacts with them every day. I have not seen this level of such a personal understanding and commitment to each child in her care and all of my experience in different schools throughout my years of teaching. The desire to teach God's love and his love for others is the foundation of this school. 
and it is evidenced in the way these teachers care for and support each other, which is a larger reflection of how the children in this building are taught and cared for. If you are a member of the St. James family already, I think you will agree with me. If you are not yet, I hope you will choose to join this extraordinary family and experience all that St. James has to offer. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jack Carter and I'm a student at St. James Episcopal School in the fifth grade. I am also a member of the church here at St. James. Today I was asked by Mrs. Irvin, the head of my school, to talk about my, experiences, my experience as a student at this school. I first started as a preschool student at St. James. Both my sisters had gone to St. James and loved it. When it was my time to start preschool, my parents didn't even consider another school. One of the fun things I remember about preschool is when they let us use shaving cream to wash the tables. <laughs> the preschool teachers all work hard to help the students learn while also having fun. Not long ago, my preschool teacher talked about me at our fifth grade Verdun retreat. Hearing her say those things made me realize how much she cares about her students and her work. The last memory I will share about preschool is every year at Christmas we hang our handprint wreath. There are three of them for each one of the kids in my family all made in Mrs. May's preschool class. I think it is special how we all have gotten to experience the same traditions. After I graduated St. James Preschool, I went to a different elementary school for kindergarten and part of first grade. During first grade, I started to think it would be really great to come back to St. James and try elementary school. The first day I tried St. James, it felt kind of like coming home. My teacher, Miss Pierce, was inviting and really cared that I was there. I came home from that day and asked when I could switch. From then on, I felt like they always wanted me here and always wanted to help me excel. St. James has given me the tools to do that. Let me tell you a little bit about school days at St. James. We have parts of our day that are different from other schools. Every morning at 8.20, we start our days with song and worship. By starting our days with this, it helps us focus on what's important. Once a month on Wednesday, we have a formal service. Being a part of that service teaches us teaches us about the traditions of the church and how to serve the church. Also, I feel like St. James does a great job of teaching kids simple qualities and virtues, like honesty and courage. This is why I love St. James. 